So Tina moved out. I'm sorry to hear that, Gary. She left on Sunday. She said, why? Yeah, she sat up all night watching me sleep and realized I would never change. She got that from you drooling on your pillow. Apparently. How'd she want you to change? She wanted me to leave the DA's office, go into private practice. Uh, that's a big ask. Yeah, she thought I'd be less inclined to, to point out everything that everyone does wrong, which apparently creates an atmosphere of negativity that sucks the joy out of life. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Find a woman who enjoys life with a job and suck. <laughs> Please, don't hurt me. Look, I I've got kids. Hurt me with my wallet, my, my watch. Just take whatever you want. Just please, don't hurt me. Whoever among you sees evil, let him change it with his hand. Charles! Somebody help! Help, please! Help! Somebody, anybody, please help! Are you serious? You were involved in the case that Kate. You saw her get shot to death? I wanted to tell you I, just, I didn't know. You didn't know what? I knew that you were upset. And I, I, I just thought that I should let it sit for a few days. A few days? And then what? And then we could talk. About... Hey, look. Jim, we can talk about Kate for as long as you need. I understand that this is difficult for you, but you still haven't answered my original question. What question was that, Omar? Do you use illegal drugs, Gemma? Am I your girlfriend or am I a suspect? I'm in the FBI. I can't have a girlfriend that does coke. I think you should get the hell out of here right now. Let's go. Okay. Hey. Hey. Sorry. What do we know? Victim's name is Charles Pollen, federal judge. Took one to the back at close range. One of my guys ID'd a 380 casing. ERT can pick it up. Other than that, not a whole hell of a lot. Okay, surveillance cameras. Yeah, and we got a witness, a friend who is walking with the judge. Says he saw the shooter. Hey. Hi. Special Agent Bell, this is Special Agent Zidane. We understand you saw the shooter. He, he was a, a Middle Eastern guy, not, not tall, maybe 5'10", average build. Okay, what was he wearing? A blue hoodie with a, a blue stain on the sleeve. I, I couldn't see his face because of the COVID mask. Did you happen to see where the shooter came from, what he was doing before he pulled the trigger? Look, I'm an ADA, OK? So I noticed him immediately. He seemed off. Did he say anything to either of you before he pulled the trigger? No, no. no. But after when, when Charles was, was laying there dead, he, he leaned in and whispered something to me. He had an accent that sounded like the type that a terrorist would have. Which is what? Exactly, Somalian, Serbian, Oklahoman. Arabic. It was Arabic. OK, you could have just said that. What did he whisper to you? Whoever among you who sees evil, let him. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I can't remember the rest. I, I was scared. He, he had a gun to my head. Does the rest of the sentence change it with his hand? Yeah, yeah, that was it. OK. You've heard that before from where? It's the first line of a well-known hadith. It's uh, words attributed to the prophet. Muslim consider them moral guidelines. So he was Muslim. Yeah, it looks that way. Is there any chance that Charles knew the shooter? Maybe from a case that he presided <sighs> over? I don't know. But Charles has been getting a lot of heat these past few weeks. He presided over some pretty polarizing cases. He said he'd been getting a lot of hate now. Uh, where are we on the footage of the crime scene? Well, it's a lot, but the angles don't really help us. The shooter's face is mostly covered by a mask and hood. I have been scrubbing traffic cams in the immediate vicinity. Found this half a block away. OK, OK, yeah, this is our shooter. He must have ducked into a subway because I haven't been able to find any other footage. Well, can you punch in, get facial wreck? Uh, let me try. No, 
There's not enough for facial rec to work with. Give me some time, might be able to clean up the original screen grab. All right, do the best you can and bless out to the team. All right, so we know his general physical appearance from the eyewitness, medium height, medium build, 5'10". It's not much, but it's a start. What about the threats Judge Pollan has been receiving? Marshal's office sent over these five letters. All of them seem to have the same handwriting. Check this out. Uh-huh. Hmm. You will pay for the injustice you have brought on to our Muslim brothers and sisters. Short and to the point. Poland apparently notified the marshal's office. They were about to open up an investigation. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see if we can pull some prints off the envelopes. FBI, we're looking for Amir Baraksai. Follow me. Amir, there's some people here to see you. Morning. How can I help you? I'm Agent Sedan. This is my partner, Agent Bell. We are here to ask you a few questions. About what? About some threatening letters that you wrote to Judge Pollan. Your fingerprints are on the stamp, so no need to deny it. Wouldn't think of it. I stand by those letters. I have the right to express my disdain or dissent for racism and fascism. That's true. The thing is, Judge Pollan is dead. He was shot. You think that I shot the judge? Well, you were upset enough that you sent him five letters. The son of a bitch just sentenced my friend to 10 years for hate speech. He had no right to do that, but I didn't kill him. That's preposterous. It's not that preposterous, because the guy that shot Judge Pollan recited the first two lines of that hadith. Which is a call for Muslims to be moral and courageous, to right wrongs, not murder innocents. Yeah, I know. My grandfather used to read it to me. Where were you at 8 a.m. this morning? I got here at 7.45. There are plenty of cameras to prove it. We'll take a look. Look, in the meantime, do you recognize this man? I can't really see his face. Jamila, tidy one way. Jamila pays more attention to people coming and going around here. Do you know this person? It's hard to tell. I, I'm not sure. Look, truth is, we were all angry. Ali got a bad deal. Sure, he went too far, but 10 years. Who's that guy? That, that's our janitor, Hassan. OK, he's been watching this since we got here. Thank you. FBI, I have some questions to ask you. Hey. Hands on the dresser. You're making a mistake. Hands on the dresser. Do what he says. All right. All right. Hey, my name it is Hassan Khalil. Take it easy. Hey, hey, take it easy. I'm one of you. I'm FBI. Ladies have to wear heels in counterterrorism? You know, sometimes I feel like doing the power woman thing. <laughs> it's been too long. It has. Good to see you. You too. So you're working with Hassan Khalil? Yeah, he's been undercover at the Islamic Center for three months as a maintenance man. OK. Why did he run? It doesn't make sense. Jubal called your unit, told him we were on the way. I know. I was in a meeting with my adic, and my daughter was sick. She had a stomach bug. Is that it? It is. So this is my partner, Oe Zidane. This is Jessica Blake. We went to Quantico together. We go back. So other than your unpleasant morning, how is motherhood? It's amazing. It's the best thing I've ever done by a lot. We can't be sure, but we think someone from the Islamic Center is responsible for the judge's death. Anyone come to mind you think might be capable of doing this? Killing a judge in broad daylight? The leader in the clubhouse would be Yardin Kadir. Why him? He's very outspoken, he's very aggressive, very anti-American, and he actually believes the nonsense that he spews. Anything else? He idolized Fidel Latif, the man who Judge Poland just locked up. And the kicker is, we think he's working with Yusuf Asghar. 
The Saudi banker. More like a terrorist. That's why we put Hassan under. Okay. Is this Kadir? Yeah, it could be. I mean, it's hard to tell. It's the same build, same general age, but... Uh, Do you have his address? Negative. He's very good at staying under the radar. I try to get close for a few months, but I, I can't get near him. Are you good to partner on this? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm gonna get you set up down the hall. Uh, I'm gonna get the jock to start digging into Kadir. I've uh, heard your name on more than one occasion. Oh, yeah? You're a war hero, right? I don't know about that, but... I did serve two tours in Afghanistan. Oh, smart, you're humble. They like a Muslim agent. You know how to play the game. Uh, there is no game, buddy. I'm just doing my job. Oh, he just did it again. All good, bro. I'm just playing. Okay. After you. <laughs> All right, Yardan, Kadir, people. We need to talk to him, which means we need to find him. So let's dig down. Who is he? Where does he lay his head at night? Hard to confirm an address or positively ID the guy. No record of a driver's license, no utility bills, internet, cable. Wait, got something, a W-2. There's a Yardin Kadir who works at a restaurant in Williamsburg. Name's pretty unique. High probability it's our guy. All right, let's pay him a visit. Hello? We're not open. We are not hungry. FBI, we're looking for a Yardin Kadir. He's not here. Then we're gonna need an address. Why? Were you suggesting he committed a crime? Where does he live? He's a good employee. I'll be sure to tell him next time I see him that he's up for employee of the month. Look, I know Kadir can be outspoken, but he has reason to be. What's his address? All right, there's another way we can do this. I'm more than happy to drag you down to 26 Fed. I'll detain you, and then I'm gonna get a warrant and go through every one of your books, your financial records. Are you threatening me? You don't tell us where he lives. We're gonna take you in, and I'm gonna shut this place down. Okay. I'll find it for you. And just to be clear, if we find out that you warned Kadir that we are on our way, we will come back and arrest you for obstruction. Do you understand? Understand. Wow, fired up today. You know, it's a tough case. A case is a case. The guy was provoking you. I despise extremists, people that apologize for them, Muslim or not, it's not that tough. <laughs> I had a rough morning. What happened? Got in a fight with Gemma. I told her the truth about Kate, that I was working the case. She got upset. Then I asked her about her drug use, and she told me to get the hell out. Sorry that happens. But... But what? You know, you gotta get your head back in the case. Rein it in. Jubal, we have a photo ID and a possible address for Kadir.
Drop the gun and come out with your hands up! And why would I do that? So you don't have to go to prison for the rest of your life! I am not going to prison! Dying's not gonna make you a martyr, man. No one even knows who the hell you are! They will after today. Laptop and a flash drive here. Great, bag it. Yeah. Got something. Check it out. This song was right about this guy. Hey. Any luck with the canvas? Yeah. I just showed that screen grabber the shooter to a lady down the hall. And she said she just saw a kid, 1920, leave this apartment about an hour ago wearing this exact hoodie. Good ears, not her shooter. All right, so here's what we know. The caliber of Kadir's guns do not match the murder weapon. And now we have another player who was seen wearing the same hoodie that our shooter was wearing, which means it looks like Kadir might not have shot the judge. So who the hell did? Why were we in the dark about that additional player? Well, I'm not sure. I've been on Kadir for more than three months. I know that he was trying to create a cell and that he was in bed with the Saudis, but I will go back and check my notes. Hey, any word from counterterrorism on the other guy in Kadir's apartment? No, he is not on any watch list. All right, Ian, how are we doing on Kadir's flash drive? Uh, the encryption's pretty sophisticated. I'm going to need some more time. Guys, I might have something. Yeah. I've been scrubbing footage from a surveillance cam down the street from Kadir's building. Got a young guy exiting in a blue hoodie about the time the neighbor described. Has he got a mask? No, sir. All right, the angle looks good. Can we get facial rec? Nothing, no hits. OK, but we're in the red zone. We have a clean visual. This is the guy that the neighbor saw leave Kadir's house in the jacket. Do you know him? Um, yeah, I recognize him from the center. He's an awkward kid. I don't really know his name. OK, well, it looks like he's our shooter, so we got to find him. OK, yeah, I'll see what I can do. OK, what's wrong? Uh, it's. Doesn't really make sense. What doesn't make sense? The whole damn thing. OK, we're going to head back to the neighborhood center. He's just a teenager. Who we believe murdered a judge. Do you know him? I do. He's a good boy. Quiet, kind, keeps to himself. This doesn't make sense. Whether it makes sense or not, can you give us his name? Jubal, we got a name, Adil Kazem. 3D. Where's your son? <gasps> Adil, where is he? We don't know where he is. He's not here. Please don't hurt us. Bedroom's clear. Turn him upside down. What the hell is going on? Have you ever seen your son with a gun? What? 
No. Well, enough of the questions. What exactly has our son done? We believe that he shot and killed a federal judge this morning. Not possible. Adil is a kind soul. He's never even raised his voice to anyone. Okay, well, he's found his voice. We need to find him before anything else happens. Hey. Where's Adil now? He was here for about an hour this afternoon, but he left. Did he mention anything about where he was going or what he was doing? No. Mrs. Kazem. What is it? Adil has been not entirely himself lately. Okay, well, what do you mean not himself? Oh, stop talking. Our son has always been lonely, but he made a new friend, older, a man. And he told Adil awful things. He seems dangerous. My wife is right. Whatever you think Adil may have done, it's this man you're looking for. Do you have a name? No, he, he wouldn't tell us. Did he come from the Islamic Center? Yes. Is this him? Yardan Kidir? No. Do you know what he looks like? I only saw him a few times talking to Adil outside. Um, not too tall, average build, about your age. He had long sideburns. He gave Adil lots of things to read, things that made him ask questions about how this country treats Muslims. Big Harry Potter fan. Casting spells is a long way from killing judges. A charging cable over here, but no sign of a laptop. Yeah, I don't see one either. Jeff, look at this. A deal. This will help you see what Yarden Kadir sees. That action against our enemies is a moral necessity. H. Hassan, we need to talk. Yeah, off in a bit. Now. Uh, I'll, I'll call you back in a bit. What is it? What the hell is going on? What are you talking about? You know a deal. The way you looked at the screen grab, I knew something was up, but now I know the way the parents described you. And we found the manifesto mm. and a note signed with the letter H, Hassan. It's time to come clean. Yeah, I know the kid. I befriended him as part of my cover. He was receptive. You told us that you did not know his name. Dill is a nice kid. He's not a killer. At least that's what I thought. And then when you... When you showed me the pictures, I couldn't believe it. So I wanted to contact him myself and then see if he was really involved. And? Did you get in touch with him? No, I couldn't get him on his phone. Okay, and you didn't tell us that either. None of that. I panicked. I knew I screwed up, so I wanted to fix the problem. So what really happened here, Hassan? Did you turn this kid a deal into a terrorist? Did you push him so hard he finally took action? No, that's not fair. I was trying to build a case. I did what I had to do. I was grooming an informant. I didn't push that kid to shoot somebody. I wanted to use him to penetrate Kadir's cell. I told Adil that he was marble and that Kadir would be his sculptor, and he just, he, he ate it up, so I ran with it. The kid was lost. He was a soldier looking for a mission, so I gave him that. You don't get the kind of pressure that I was under. I should have told you about Adil, I apologize. But you don't need to make this a bigger deal than it needs to be. I know the kid, I know the world. I will make this right. I get it, Hassan. I do, but you've really screwed up, man. Okay, do not withhold information from me or any other agent again. Do you understand? Hey, Jock's up to speed. Everything okay? Yes, everything's fine. Let's get this a deal, kid. Fast. All right.
we were close, Ian. We need to get inside Kadir's drive, find out who he's working with, see if he's got anything else planned. Let's go, let's go. I am almost... I'm in. Yeah? Great. Oh, looks like he used the drive to back up his cell info. Yeah, I got something. Allah has gifted us a new warrior. Killing Judge Pollen was just the start. By this afternoon, the whole world will know his name. Looks like a deal is launching another attack, people. We just braced the parents again, and they're not cooperating. Yeah, according to them, their son is a victim as well. OK, well, let's figure out who Kadir texted, who owns the phone. Ian, can you locate it? Own it. OK, got a location for the burner that Kadir communicated with this morning, Thornton and Tanner Fabrics. Burner has been there for the past 30 minutes. All right, you want us to go down now? No. No, we need more information. At least start scrubbing surveillance and traffic cams for when the phone arrived. We need to ID who owns it. OK, here you go. Yeah, this one. Push in, run facial wreck. Got it. OK. Name is Yusuf Asgar, the Saudi banker. All right. We'll go now. No, no, he won't talk. The guy is a total pro. I think it's worth a shot. He's probably the only other person who knows when and where the next target is. Maggie, she's right. He's not going to cooperate. So let's talk to him in a different way? A different way? Well, Asgard doesn't know what the warrior looks like. There's no way he's ever met a deal. So let's use that to our advantage. Div and Skolar are inside. I'll go in first. You wait a minute and then come in, OK? Yeah. What? No matter what happens, then, no matter what Jessica says, do not pull me out. I'll give you your space, but I can't promise anything. I made this mess. You got to let me clean it up. And trust me, I know what I'm doing, please. Oh, wait, do you copy? You cut out for a second. Yep, everything's fine. I'm going in now. Here we go. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm a deal. Uh, I need to speak to Mr. Osgar. He knows who I am. Tell him I'm the warrior. How did you know to come here? Kadir, he... Kadir who? I do not know anyone by that name. Yardan Kadir. I killed the judge, just like Kadir told me to do. And then he, he said he had another assignment, and I went back to his place, but there were cops all over, so I, I ran. I want to finish my mission, but I don't know what it is. Do you think I am stupid? He's testing you. No. Of course not. I revere you. Just like a deer does. I don't want to fail him. He gave me purpose. No, he said I was a gift from Allah. I owe him everything. Why did Kadir think you were a gift from Allah? I told him that I was a piece of marble and that he was a great sculptor. And I asked him to make me into someone that Allah would love. Would you martyr yourself for Allah? I'd do anything for Allah.
and do it. Martyr yourself. You guys, Asgard just gave him a gun. The sun, get out. Hassan, abort. Oh, you gotta get him out of there right now. Let's let it play out. ceremony this afternoon in Brooklyn for an American soldier who killed our people in Iraq. I will go there and repay the favor. Thank you. We got him. We got the banker. You guys, take him. FBI, step aside. Put your hands up. What the hell are you doing? Turn around. Sorry, pal. Bank's closed today. What the hell was that, Hassan? How'd you know that gun wasn't loaded? Well, it felt unbalanced. Silencer made it front heavy. Like the magazine was empty. You felt all that? I could tell he was bluffing. I could see it in his eyes. Mm. I don't think you could. Oh, hey. Why would Asgar want to kill someone willing to do anything for his cause? It makes no sense. I'm an asset. Yeah, you want to know what I think? I think that you got really lucky in there, man. Really lucky. What difference does it make? We got the information. Let's just get the hell out of here and find a deal. All right, everybody spread out. Keep in contact over the comms. If anyone sees a deal, don't be shy. All right, a lot of possible targets, a lot of looky loos. This could get ugly. There's a congresswoman. Let's go talk to her. Yeah. Congresswoman DeLillo, Special Agent Bell. This is my partner, Agent Sedan. Nice of you to join us. What can I do for you? We have information that suggests there's going to be a terrorist attack on the ceremony. Are you kidding me? Who? What group? It's a local cell that we just dismantled, but the lone remaining survivor shot the federal judge. <sighs> I heard about that. It's just awful. Yeah, you need to shut this down. We can reschedule the ceremony after we apprehend the suspect. Yeah, I appreciate the heads up, but that's not going to happen. Why not? James Minardi was never intimidated by terrorists. He believed that's how you lost the war, so we won't be either. Besides, if it's just one guy, I feel pretty safe with all these men here. Okay, ma'am. There are a lot of people here, families with kids, so with all due respect, that is a terrible idea. I'm not canceling the ceremony. We can start it. side of the triangle. You said it towards the Congress Many of my colleagues on the hill, you know that I'm finding out. And it's not for the 
No deal. Just stop. Just need you to stay where you are. Put your hands up. Okay. Just stay where you are, okay, buddy? You lying traitor! Love you, man. They want you to come home. I just need you to talk to me. to my location. Appreciate what you did. You saved my life. I didn't have a choice. That's one way to put it. What? They dusted a deal's gun for prints. They found yours on the grip, underneath a deal's. <clears throat> it means you touched it first. You gave a deal the gun, didn't you? Like I said, I was trying to build up his confidence, you know, make him legit. But he was the best way to crack Kadir's cell. So you got inside of a lonely kid's head, convinced him to hate America, and then gave him a gun. You know, that kid was nervous about approaching Kadir. He kept on talking about wanting the gun for his own security, so... Uh, it's all in the service of taking down a terrorist. But it was a bad call. It was a really bad call, my son. Really bad. Don't judge me, Omar. <laughs> I didn't go to West Point. I'm not on the cover of some marketing brochure. I'm just a regular old Muslim kid from Brooklyn who snuck in the back door because they needed people who speak Arabic. I need to work harder. I need to build cases, otherwise I'm... I can explain the, the fingerprint. I can tell them that they made a mistake about the layering. Are you asking me to lie for you? No. I'm asking you to 
understand why I did what I did. I'm looking at you, brother. Mm -hmm. Do not do that brother thing. I don't play that game either. Oh, hey. You don't understand what it's like. No, I do. My son. I didn't have it as easy as you think. Trust me. I caught the same crap. I got the same looks and the same stupid jokes. I just... I just never used it as an excuse, man. I'm an FBI agent. Not a Muslim FBI agent. Okay. Tell yourself that. But the truth is... Everybody looks at you. They see a Muslim first. Agent Khalil, Bill Gardner, Office of Professional Responsibility. We have to ask you a few questions. You have the right to contact the Agents Association for legal representation. How you feeling? Okay, is this about Hassan or Gemma? Uh, this is about me. When people ask you about me, what do you say? How, how do you describe me? I say you're a great partner. You're kind and smart, loyal, and courageous. Well, and I mean, depending on who's asking, I also say tall and reasonably handsome. Good night. Good night. <laughs>